Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Coach Shadongstaborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Coach Chai YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. My name is Coach Shadongstaborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a very special theme park news update, a very local theme park news update, where today we're going to be looking at a special delivery as part of the brand new museum attraction in Doncaster, my hometown, my home place, my home um, that's been my home for about, you know, all my life, pretty much. And, you know, this has been a wonderful place to live and this new museum looks amazing and it's just got even better with the latest delivery of railway history. We're going to talk about all the history surrounding why this delivery is so so important and the sort of stats as well as some photos on your screen from the free press article which i've linked in the description down below as well uh from the delivery uh on the day of the delivery from this experience now before we get started with all of that make sure you like the video if you love these museum updates as well as the theme park updates make sure you subscribe to the channel for more click the notification bell so you never miss another video We've got some loads of exciting content to come guys discussion videos prediction videos news updates reviews fact files uh historic videos and also some fun videos as well i might dip into the theme park ultimate team videos we'll do some more reaction videos as well so stay tuned for all of that guys because it really will be exciting over the next few months also, guys, make sure you go into the description down below where not only can you find the article with the information around this video, but also you can find links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, and also the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Coast Chill fan base, can be a part of the Chal Nation interactively using the Discord server. You can chat to me if I'm down in the Discord server. You, you know, sometimes, you know, especially in these first few months of the year, I'm not going to be, you know, on it that much because, you know, I'm very, very busy. But uh, when more free time becomes available, have a look at the Discord server for between now and then. So if you do want to interact with me on a voice chat at some point throughout the days uh, over the next few months, then please, please, please get in the Discord server and be a part of the Chal Nation. Also, guys, we want to get to 4,000 subscribers and a million views by the end of the year. So please make that happen. Watch the old videos. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. It would mean the absolute world. Also, there's a link to submitting your video ideas Google Forms, links in the description. And for now, guys, let's have a look at all what's going to happen, what's been, what's been happening on Sunday morning as a very special delivery to the new Doncaster Museum took place. So here we go then, according to the Doncaster Free Press, on a freezing Sunday morning, yes, uh, um, two low loaders travelled down from Shildon in the northeast. Their cargo is the first steam engine to go on permanent heritage display and Doncaster. The journey had taken it from its previous base, a museum called Locomotion, having setting off at 6am. Slowly unloaded onto tracks through the giant back door of the borough's new museum, the engine was put in place in a five-hour operation carried out while College Road was temporarily closed to traffic. The Great Northern Railway's Atlantic Locomotive No. 251, built at Doncaster's Railway Works, known as the Plant Works, in 1902, is the first exhibit to be announced for the town's Danum Gallery, Library and Museum. This is the brand new uh, attraction opening hopefully this year. Uh, it was delivered by its owners, the National Railway Museum, who have placed it on loan at the new museum. The team in Orange uh, worked in almost empty town centre, delivering the engine and its coal tender to leave it safely inside the new venue. A second engine will also be brought to the building later in the year. Now, the mayor of Doncaster, Ross Jones, said in an official statement, this locomotive is the first of many gems we will be revealing throughout a virtual tour in March, with the building opening its doors for people to explore later in the year, subject, of course, to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Council Nigel Ball, Doncaster Council's Cabinet Member for Culture, said we are delighted the National Railway Museum has supported us and I can't wait to see these two classic locomotives on display. As a past worker at the plant in the nearly 80s, I am really excited about this and what this means for Doncaster. So after 45 years in service, initially with the Great Northern Railway and with the LNER after 1923, 
The number 251 was retired back in 1947 and the locomotive returned to steam once in 1953 to celebrate the cemetery of the Doncaster plant works. It was taken centre stage in a new rail heritage centre in the museum. It will also showcase rail memorabilia from the Doncaster Grammar School railway collection and other items which celebrate the importance of rail in Doncaster. Displayed on purpose built rail tracks people were able to view through a virtual tour which will go live in March prior to the building being exposed and open for the public to get up close with exhibits later in the year. All opening plans are of course subject to the reopening of the on the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Now the locomotives will remain part of the national collection will be loaned to Doncaster Museum as a static exhibit for an initial three year period. Uh, now this is a very very good looking project and there's been a lot of locals you know sharing their thoughts on this now the engine installed was the first in the series of 90 form locomotives of its type and the new design was an immediate success and further improvements to the model over the next few years meant this class of locomotive was very, was able to pull very heavy passenger trains at considerable speeds well into the 1920s and the 1930s so it's a very historic uh, piece of history and I'm glad that that it's coming back locally to Doncaster. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, quite a lot of history, local history surrounding this particular piece of locomotive history. And I honestly, I, I cannot wait to see this in person. I really can't. We'll take you guys to the museum. We'll uh, get you guys a vlog at some point once COVID-19 has calmed down and we'll get there as soon as we can. And we'll definitely be doing a piece, you know, in the museum. We'll get to go around all the rest of the exhibit, share with you guys the brand new museum. If you'll check the vlogs playlist, you'll see I did the, the vlog from the last day of the original Doncaster Museum, uh, which is only, you know, down the street from the new one. Well, up the street from the new one. So, um, you know, you got the new one up here and then down there was the old one, which I believe is now going to be storage for the new one. So, uh, you know, I was there on the last day of the old one. You saw the vlog. And, you know, it was a really, really uh, cool museum. It was a historic museum. It had a lot of history behind it. And, um, you know, the exhibit, some of the exhibits have been transported up to the new ones. Some of the other ones, I'm not too sure, you know, what's happened to them. I think they're sort of, sort of staying in storage just in case. But I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I really am excited for this brand new museum locally. And, you know, with the brand new locomotives being introduced to the museum loan, on a loan basis on an initial three year loan period uh, from the National Railway Museum, you know, for museum and railway lovers, it's definitely a bit of locomotive history to, 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 to whet your appetite. And, you know, very cool attraction to be added uh, to, the, to the town. And, you know, I really can't wait for it to open and hopefully COVID dies down enough so we can uh, experience it publicly face to face for ourselves. Uh, so very, very cool addition. Thank you so, so much for watching this theme park news update. We've got loads of updates to come over the next few days. So stay tuned for loads more videos. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Chell. Keep living the Coaster Life. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a railway-tastic day. Choo-choo.